Hey everybody, I'm back for another commentary. Today we have the Rockford Fosgate Prime Tweeters. They are the R1TS. Uh, they are about a half inch, if I remember right. Uh, 40 watt RMS and then 80 watt peak RMS. So I just got these in the mail the other day. Quick shipping. I think I paid about $36 for them, so it's a good price. First, little owner's manual. So that's the way they have it set up. Looks like the mounting hardware up here, and then the tweeters down here. All right, and here we are. So I'll just pop one of these out. And so this will be the, the back of the pod that it'll sit in. And then pop one of the tweeters out. Here's just an example, guys. This is, let's say, one of the tweeters. Get an idea, let me open that for you and get a better look at it. Uh, I picked these because I thought the price is pretty good. I think Rockford Fosgate's a really good company. I use them for some subwoofers that I got. So that's about what they look like. They should sit relatively flush and look good um, just in the stock uh, pillar area. Um, the previous owner cut around it to fit aftermarket ones and then I guess they're not working so I'm assuming they're blown hopefully that's the case and these will just hook right up and then at the other end you just have your positive and negative to hook up to so it should be pretty easy installation and I'm not exactly sure what these pieces are but it got two little metal pieces here as well as four little screws so that's the unbox and I will see you guys in a little bit when I get them installed What's up everyone, I'm back here to show you the after install video of the Rockford Fosgate tweeters that I picked up. Uh, overall I'm very happy with them, I think the sound quality is amazing and I try to show you guys but over an iPhone video, you know, it's not going to be too too great. So believe me when I say I think they're a great bang for your buck, $36 for them ship. Uh, shipping took I think three days to get here so really not too bad at all. Um, so the install took about 15 minutes. The guy who had the car before me, he did put some aftermarket speakers in the doors already, so I just had to really um, unconnect the old tweeter and just put the new one in. And also the housing he had was more, like, more than sufficient for what I needed, because uh, he already pre-cut the holes slightly bigger that were needed on, the, uh, on these small parts here. So I just had to really just put them right in and it was no big deal at all. But overall, like I said, I'm very happy with them. I think the quality is great. I do recommend picking these up, especially if you're looking for a low budget um, um, tweeter. Installing these tweeters was relatively easy. Um, the previous owner, since he did put the door speakers in himself, all I had to do was wire these up to the door speakers here that he had in, and they really just power off of these for the tweeters. So it's very easy to do. Mounting them was really easy. Thank you, and see you next video.